Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CPE. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. Did this analysis on Thursday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from here. And actually, both these levels played out perfectly. And so it's, I guess, updates, maybe not necessarily the right word for this, but maybe confirmation would be more of an accurate term. Main point of confirmation being yes, that overall up here, 67 cents did prove to be the ultimate level of resistance. Yeah, there was a, a the price opened up above there, but you can see that didn't last very long at all. And the price quickly dropped down below there. The problem is the price then also dropped all the way down below that second red line right there at 60 cents. And then that went right to acting as resistance again, as when the price did try to recover back upwards, you can see that right around that area is where the price struggled for the remainder of the day. So what started off as such an encouraging day uh, you know, it turned out to be a relatively rough day. I mean, this is what we would call a gap and trap. Price gapped all the way up here and then pulled all the way back here. But to give some credit or credit to, at least it wasn't one of these situ situations where the price just continued on down. It did actually work its way back upwards. But like I said, when it did work its way back upwards, 60 cents right there went right back to acting as resistance. So on that note, like I said, nothing really new to report, but yet definitely confirmation that 60 cents remains that key area of resistance. And then up there at 67 cents remains the overarching level. As far as supports is concerned, pretty pretty interesting. Sure, did the, now did the price bounce off that green line exactly? It didn't, but I mean, you stop and think about the fact that at one point the price was up there and it dropped all the way down there. And then it just happened to stop and bounce from basically that green line. Pretty pretty interesting. Now, are, are charts perfect? I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying, you know, that's kind of a real life example of why I would highly recommend learning charts because there should be a, a tool in your trader tool belt. But nonetheless, point being, 52 cents remains that key level of support moving forward. So overall, a relatively disappointing day, but the overall trend is still up. So we'll see if the price can continue on with it next week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.